Get the best deal on a used car. Welcome back to the Homework Guy channel, the place where we make car buying easy and even in this car market, a purchase can even be affordable. Today we're diving into how you used car buyers can get the best possible deal on your next car purchase. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, and right across the way is the always amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. At the end of today's show, we have an exciting announcement and some brilliant viewer comments to share with you, so stay tuned for that. Liz, let's get started. All right. Going on 15 years now, car buyers have known they can turn to the Homework Guy channel for good, reliable car buying advice. We are known for doing our homework and only publishing accurate videos. We don't and we never will engage in the deceptive practice of clickbait. Think of today's show as a car buying guide of sorts for used car buyers. We've been saying for years that getting the best deal on a used car requires a mix of research, negotiation skills, and patience. I would also add knowing how to properly evaluate or book out any used car in the market so that you know the fair market price. For all of our channel members, none of them will ever pay over fair market price because we provide them with a black book offer price on a used car. Why do we use black book? It's the most widely used book value for cars by both banks and dealers. Over 30,000 dealer members nationwide, tons of banks and credit unions. And while it's true that no book out company is writing checks for cars, we've seen enough to know that black book numbers are exactly where the market is at right now. And unlike KBB, it's updated weekly. The most frequently updated book of them all. If there's one thing we always want to make sure you accomplish as a car buyer, it's that you don't ever pay more than a fair market price, ever. By the way, friends, at the end of today's show, after viewer comments, we will be discussing a new service for our viewers on used cars. For some time now, Kevin has been exploring getting a dealer's license so we could tap into Mannheim Auto Auction to help you get quality used cars directly from the auction for a reasonable fee. How would you like to get high quality used cars with remaining factory warranty directly from Mannheim Auto Auction for a price just above the wholesale value? These cars will be scored between a 4.6 and a 5.0 on Mannheim, the best they've got. Are you interested? Stick around for that announcement at the end. Here are the top 10 key car buying tips to help you navigate the typical used car buying process. Number one, do thorough research. We've been saying this for years, friends. Never, ever skip this step. Know what kind of vehicle you need and test drive as many as possible. Cars are sitting on dealer lots for this very purpose. The best way to make up your mind and accomplish this task is to take your test driving mission seriously. The cars on those lots are there to be test driven. Test drive as many similar vehicles to what you think you'll want to buy so you have as many options as possible. Don't let any salesman rush you from a test drive into an office to sit down and discuss numbers. This is a test driving mission, not a going over the numbers mission. Also a pro tip on starting your test driving mission. You'll need to provide a copy of your driver's license to dealers you visit to drive cars. So make your own paper copies in advance with a copier before you head out to a dealership. To prevent possible identity abuse and fraud, black out your date of birth so they don't have the basic information they would need to run credit on you without your knowledge. By the way, if a dealer ever tells you that they need a credit app filled out before a test drive, walk or run away as fast (laughs) as possible. This is a major red flag. Another thing to think about is that when you provide paper copies of your driver's license to the dealer, not only are certain parts of your identity protected, but you can leave anytime you want because your actual license is still in your possession. Right. You're not going to be one of these car buyers stuck at a dealership while they're hunting down your salesman and holding you hostage because they have something of yours that you need to get back. Totally. Number two, know the market value. There are several free resources that you can use. They include Kelly Blue Book, Edmonds, or Auto Trader to understand the average price of the car you're interested in. Just never, ever use NADA. See our Boycott NADA show if you want to know more about why. Or you can sign up for a Homework Guide channel membership today, and we'll give you the bulletproof black book data on the car you're shopping for. This gives you a reliable baseline for negotiation and makes sure you never pay over the fair market price. Number three, understanding the car's history. Get a vehicle history report using the car's VIN. That's the vehicle identification number. Most of the even slightly better dealers provide car history reports for free on any vehicle they have in the lot, and they're glad to supply it to you. Check the Carfax or Auto Check report for any accidents, number of previous owners, service history, and whether it has a salvage title or not. Beware of any vehicles that were recently titled in Texas. For whatever reason, Texas is known for scrubbing the vehicle's title history, and you could be unknowingly buying a flood-damaged car from Florida. You can also check the National Motor Vehicle Title Information System for titling discrepancies. Number four, set a clear budget. 
Total costs must be considered. Remember that your budget should include not just the purchase price, but also additional costs like taxes, insurance, registration, and potential repairs. If you haven't already seen our video titled 13 Hidden Costs of Ownership, go ahead and check it out. Then financing. If you're planning to finance the car, get pre-approved for a loan first. This will give you an idea of what you can afford and can also give you leverage in negotiations. If you actually want to pay cash, consider getting a 72-month loan so you can be assured of no prepayment penalties and you can just pay off your vehicle loan with the first payment. Number five, inspect the car thoroughly. Do a physical inspection. Check the car's exterior and interior for any damage or wear. Look under the hood for signs of leaks, rust, or worn belts and hoses. Also look under the vehicle. And then use our video titled DIY Use Car Inspection. Make sure you see the video. And then follow that up with a professional mechanics inspection at a nearby garage if it passes your inspection. This is otherwise known as a PPI or pre-purchase inspection. Number six, negotiate the price. So be informed. Use the information from your research to negotiate. Knowing the car's market value and history gives you an upper hand. By the way, we help our channel members with current black book data on any used car that they are shopping for. With our help, you are guaranteed to never pay more than fair market price. Always start lower than the asking price. Make an initial offer that's lower than your maximum budget and less than the asking price, but still within a reasonable range of the car's actual value. Walk away if necessary. If the seller isn't willing to meet your terms and you feel the deal isn't right, be prepared to walk away. Walking away not only saves you from making a rushed bad decision, but it will likely get the dealer to rethink their stubborn price position and actually try to earn your business. Number seven, check for hidden costs. Read the fine print. Before finalizing the purchase, understand all the costs involved. Be wary of any hidden fees or additional charges. If the dealer is attempting to force add-ons on you, Go back and see our show titled, Do You Have to Pay Car Dealer Add-Ons? The answer is no, and this video explains why. Number eight, consider the timing, end of month or end of year. Dealerships often have sales targets, so shopping at the end of the month or the end of the year can often get you a better deal. Number nine, explore various sellers. Different sources look at different sources like private party sellers, used car dealerships, and certified pre-owned vehicles from manufacturers. Even when looking for a better dealer, that's how many of our members have found good car deals. They always expanded their search, and so should you. And number 10, be patient and ready to act. So don't rush. Don't rush into this decision. However, after you've done all the work and you know you're actually looking at a good deal, be ready to move once you find the right car at the right price at the right dealer. Moving on now to viewer comments. Wayne Z writes on our video, don't say I'm paying cash. He says, I used to be a car salesman. It was a fantastic experience. The most important thing that Elizabeth said here is to know what you want. People seem to fall apart when they get on the sales floor. I've actually seen some people shake when they get on the lot. Oh, wow. It's ridiculous. Know what you want. Don't let the salesman pull stuff out of you. What kind of car do you want? How much do you want to spend? What do you want your payment to be? And are you going to be financing this? Most people don't know, and that's not their salesman's fault. It's their fault. The sales guy cannot be showing the customer a Cadillac when they should only be looking at a used Chevy. <laughs> the salesman doesn't want to get jerked around either because you have no idea how much cars cost and you don't even know what you want. Sure. Buying a car is not an impulse item, but it can be an emotional buy, so keep your head and know what you want. Otherwise, you're going to get your ass kicked. Spot on, <laughs> Wayne. Couldn't agree more. And then there's Lois A. Willis, who commented on our video, Don't Say I'm Paying Cash. I always buy cash, but pick the vehicle, know the value. I start with price on the phone. Then I tell them I want to be out of the dealership in an hour tops. I will do zero add-ons. In the finance office, everything will be a no. If you piss me off, I will walk. Works like a charm every time. Kevin responded to this comment saying, Of course you'll have some dealers saying, No thanks, but that's fine too, right? And friends, it definitely is fine if any given dealer refuses to work with your style of car buying. I like the straightforward confidence conveyed in this comment by Lois A. Willis. Know exactly what you want and then go for it. And finally, here's Dave B. who comments on our video, Eight Illegal Things Dealers Do. Dave writes, Thank you for your info. I had to purchase another truck after hitting black ice and rolling my 2009 Ooh. Super Duty. I was at the dealer and got an OTD price. The finance guy tried adding a $500 dock fee. Pay attention here, friends. I told him, I don't pay them. And his answer was, we put them on every vehicle. The salesman was laughing. I told him to take that $500 off the OTD price. He got flustered but ran off and came back with a new printout. The salesman even looked it over and said he wanted to make sure he did what he said he would. Sounds like even the salesman doesn't like the finance guy's BS. 
There you have it, friends. Even the sales staff knows the doc fee is a joke as clearly as this salesman did. No fight, and he just got rid of it. Right. Remember, buying a used car is not just about getting the lowest price, but about finding the best value for your money. Take your time to ensure you're making a well-informed and confident decision. Okay, let's chat about our announcement that we can offer just above wholesale prices that Kevin mentioned in the beginning. On or before February 16th, our new website launches. Watch the website for this announcement. One of the new services we've been working on for some time is to help used car buyers get a used car for close to the wholesale value. When I say close, let me point out what happens with a used car at the dealer so you understand. If they bring in a used vehicle, either on trade-in or from auction, and let's say they take it in for $15,000, many dealers these days are easily adding somewhere near $2,000 for a lot pack to this number. On the dealer books, then they claim, we own it for $17,000. It's already marked up $2,000. And that pack stands for protected against commission. (laughs) So dealers even use the strategy to steal commissions from their own salesmen. They do it all the time. However, it's from that number, the 17000 number, that they add the desired dealer profit, which is likely to be between 5000 and $7,000. The car was taken in for 15000 but they will have an asking price between twenty dollars and $22,000. How would you like to be able to buy that same vehicle without any surprise fees or forced dealer add-ons, hassle-free for a number much closer to sixteen five? With a wholesale value of 15000 that markup would only be 10%, well below the 30 to 35% markup that's over the actual cash value that you can expect from any typical dealer. In the interest of total transparency, you'll get to see the Mannheim Auto Auction price before it's purchased for you. You can text us for details of where you'd go, etc., to get your car. Even with a minimal down payment, you'd never be underwater on your vehicle because its cash value would always be close to your loan balance. How'd you like that? And yes, there is a catch. We can only help a limited number of people per month, and you must have good enough credit to do it. Qualified members on the channel will always be put first in line. When you sign up for at least a consults package, we will ask you directly if you'd like to be on that list. Even then, we can only help about 80 people per month. We don't want you scrambling to sign up immediately and end up creating a mile-long spreadsheet of used car buyers. We're going to have to control it and tell some people no, unfortunately. But we will make announcements as we gain access to more capacity to help more car buyers. This will be a work in process for a while, but I guarantee we will pull the rug out from underneath dealers selling overpriced used cars in this country. If you recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And to all of our new channel members, we really love working with you. And for all of you interested in the above opportunity to buy a used car just above wholesale prices, with the responses that we expect, count yourself lucky if you are chosen to be put on the list. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We are changing the car business, but now we've we got to go. go. You can't go. All the plants are going to die.